when you go back into a work, um, do you uh, and this whole idea of you know uh, two dates on it? Um, let me see how else. Well, so I, I don't um, worry too much about how, it. How do you, yeah? How do you bring it? How do you bring that in, in into play? Because you know, like you said, you were thinking about going back into this and touching it up, and you right. know, now that you've you've already got it sitting in a different perspective. Position, than it yeah, was. it's up vertical instead of being horizontal, which is what what got me to think about maybe doing something more to it because it sort of it, it 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 looks really good, maybe better than it does horizontal. That's kind of a little issue that I'm not totally resolved on yet, but I. You know, it's it's still fairly recent. I mean, I painted this painting um, probably in uh, July of last year, 2014. So, there, if I do change it, you know, I will probably do two things. I will, it's signed this way, so it looks like horizontal. I'll probably put two arrows on it, that it can go horizontal or ver vertical. And as you can see, I, you know, I put this little thing here where you can, you know, play it around. It sort of felt like, it's, if it does go this way, I felt, I felt like I needed something on an angle this way. Don't ask me why. Just my craziness, right? But as far as going back into stuff, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the, the fear or problem I have with going back into stuff is that there's a very good chance you're going to ruin it, or it never. You're almost better off just leaving it for what it is, and moving on to something else. But and there's some people who really believe, particularly people in the more abstract expressionists, uh, uh, and it isn't true either. By the way, it's the it's it's the myth they created that we did this painting in you know one session. Nobody did anything in one session. <laughs> you just won't tell everybody that because it's kind of freaky. Oh, wow, you painted that painting in four or five hours. The truth is, there's some very detailed, old masterish like paintings that were painted in, you know, a couple of days, you know, because you just put in paint, man. How much paint can you move around in eight hours? You know, you move around a lot, you know. Um, but um, that's more my concern about going back into something is that maybe, you know, it's like just, it, you're not going to make it better. Um, and I've seen that happen. It's in a stand in the corner. These are both, I, like, I haven't really done anything to this painting except turn it up vertical. And there's something about it being vertical. I've had a really hard time feeling comfortable with making vertical. As so much as I'm getting, you know, I can see it starting to happen. I'm going to lay out that piece there. It won't be a big one, but it'll be, piece, you know, it's going to be a, a more vertical, I say. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm painting on the horizontal. But, yeah, I was like playing with this cardboard thing, you know, I think it needs something somewhere. I'm just not quite sure exactly where or what color or maybe even a series of them. I don't know. I just was, you know, and that, and then again, I don't know, maybe it doesn't need anything. Just turn it this way and sign it uh, as a vertical and put an arrow. As far as the date thing goes, um, yeah, I would just write, it'd be, it's 2014, I'd put dun, 15, you know. If even that, truth is, we do so little to it, whatever it is, you know, because I don't really want to mess with it. Because I think it's a really good painting horizontally. And talking about some of the stuff in the other room, um, this was kind of a little bit pre where I started actually taking these, and you can start to see the beginning of it. If you imagine this horizontal, it's like a little bit of a perspective like box kind of thing happening, you know, a, a diamond or a box in perspective. And there's a few things that, you know, so this sort of led up to that. Um, and it still works really well. The color's great on it, and it's an unusual color. It's kind of this, uh, it's, a, it's a peachy, you know, peachy uh, pink. It's, it's hard to say what it is. Uh, but, um, yeah, like this one, you know, the, 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 there's um, this painting. Yeah. There's three like this that I did that I put this, literally there's a collaged in canvas box that I saw as a separate, um, almost a separate painting, like a painting within a painting kind of thing. And um, something I've played with before, I don't, I think they're very successful. I don't think the reactions I've gotten from other people, I don't feel are, are, have been that great. 
but they'll come around. <laughs> they, I'll give them, I'll, I'll give them some time. These, these paintings uh, on the wall are, uh, you know, recent, and uh, each one of them is slightly different, which is sort of freaking me out in one way, because as much as some of it um, does relate, some of it doesn't. And even a painting like this, which only because this one's the only one up, there's really nothing quite like it in the sense of I got this perspective thing going, which is actually, you can kind of see it going away in this one. But it's holding, this painting particularly, is holding up right well for me. Um, same with this one, which also kind of gets into a whole thing that I've been, I've been, I guess I've been playing with two, three, four, who even knows, kind of motifs that I've been uh, working with. One sort of being this, which is the, the latest version is really like this or this, um, and trying to, trying to do something where um, there really is one big field of color or similar color, and I've, you know, placed something on top of it. Even in this one, there's a, there's a bit of a sense of a, a perspective line, as much as I never feel this one really works that way, as much as it, it could, it looks like it could, because it could almost be like a corner of the room. Um, so this, yeah, I've been working on these, you know, and so they're all they're all kind of different. Uh, each each painting that I've done is is like um, incorporates some of the other stuff. Like I guess the the one unifying aspect is probably the ovals, the ellipses that, uh, and to some degree even the, the round uh, circles. And nothing's really that round. I mean, I'm painting everything by hand. I'm not like trying to trace anything, you know. But the other thing about that is, as far as going into and doing this, and the, like I said, my, my concerns are more about, uh, you're going to screw it up, so don't mess with it. But, uh, same time, probably 70% of the stuff I did to this later turned out to be more the direction I was going with later paintings. You know, and uh, so that's interesting that, like, who cares you fucked it up? You went in and you, you discovered some stuff, or at least you tried it out, put it that way, and you liked it. The next one you did, you, you're a little more comfortable doing it, and you've, you've uh, sort of had a little more experience, you know? And experience is important. I mean, that's what people have been saying to me, oh man, you're painting up a storm. I go, yeah, yeah. You know. But there's a reason. It's like, I'm not going to sit around dilly dally and looking at my paintings, man. It's like, that one's done. I'm moving to the next one. As long as I can afford it, you know? I mean, you know, that's why, I, like, I don't have a canvas here, but I probably should go get another piece of canvas. I was painting two at the same time. I thought, I got the space here. You get rid of this guy. Somebody buy this, please. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I probably put out a couple big canvases on the floor and work on, I don't know what, you know, I, I have no idea, I don't know physically, it's, it, you know, it's funny about painting, uh, you know, it's like, oh, painting would be so much easier if, in, in the physical end of it than making sculpture, but I tend to paint like, um, well, there's, there's always a point I get to, but in terms of hours, um, I paint um, six hours straight, it's a lot of time on your feet. It starts, you know, the next day I usually feel like it's either my knees or my feet or something and feel a little, you know, messed up. Uh, take some Advil, you know. But, um, yeah, no, it's like, you know, just just uh, going in and saying, eh, just another painting, you know, who cares, you know. 